Hello YouTubers, this is Mark with Hanging with the Hyatts, and uh, we're going to make a quick video, hopefully it'll be quick, on changing this um, filter in our water conditioner filter to help lessen the hardness of our water. So when we uh, built this house here uh, five years ago, we had a choice, I guess. We could have either went with this kind of filter, which is, they say it's a softer, but it really it's a water conditioner. It conditions the water. Or we could have went with a salt pellet type softener, which I would have had to always put in salt pellets, which is less harmful to the environment, yada, yada, yada. But we didn't do that, so we went with this. I bought this off of Amazon. I believe that it's called Aquas, Aquias. Um, the filters, the cartridges that are in it, they say you ought to be able to get about 60,000 gallons I found that it's best to change it at somewhere in between 30 and 50,000 gallons. And you can see the difference in our dishwasher. You get spots. But I, when we did this, I wasn't happy and satisfied with it because these filters are kind of expensive. However, there is aftermarket filters and that's what I'm using now but I went back and installed another filter, which is a Whirlpool filter that they sell at Lowe's. And it was 250 bucks. This thing was like 500 bucks. And the filters are high. This has no filter. It does a back flush. So instead of removing this, I try to get 60,000 gallons now because I got this filter. And I even go over some 60,000 gallons. So, but anyway, if I had it all do good, I would only put this in. It's an automatic back flush. You set it up, you can set it up to go off every day or every 20 days. I've got it to go off every seven days and automatically back flushes. And that's where we've seen the biggest improvement in our uh, water spots and trying to keep all the buildup out of the uh, water lines. So anyway, I'm going to try to change this filter real quick. Hopefully quick. And Julie's going to video it and next time she's going to change it. So I turn off the main water. I put another valve in here that goes to my main water lines to keep any back flush coming out of it. Here's a wrench that comes with it. You can turn this to the off position, but I don't think it matters. And you just take this wrench, slide it up over here and break it loose and it'll start leaking. I put a bucket down here to try to catch it. Now it's leaking. And it's cold. And there it is. It's loose. And there's the filter. And you can see that's about 60,000 gallons. So it does make a difference. Yuck. But I also uh, pour this water out here. You can see shit in the bottom there. And there's a, there's a flange down there for this filter to fit on. 
and a flange up here for the top to fit on. I try to get all of them lined up. And there's an O-ring here. You want to make sure that this O-ring is still on here when you take it off, not up in here. And that's how it seals it up. Put it all back on. Put your wrench back on. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. Righty tighty and just tighten it up to where it's snug and let the O-ring seal it off. Turn this back to softener. And then turn your valves back on slowly. And you can hear it pressurize. And now the main water. And you can hear it running. And now it's filling this filter up. And then I like to take a rag and wipe it off and make sure it ain't leaking. So I do a half thing here just so it don't over get full pressure. And then once it quits running, you can hear it, I turn it all the way open. And that's pretty much it, YouTubers. Don't forget to ring the bell and subscribe and notifications. Turn them on. Ding, ding, ring the bell. And I have another filter that I, uh, system that I installed. I'll show it another day. It's on my hot water line. Well, hot water coming out of the hot water tank. Until then, happy holidays.